Where were you born? St. Paul, Minnesota. Who would you want to play? Who would who would you want to, you to who would you want? This to doesn't play count you? on my seconds, ah, does it? In a movie. Uh, Brad Pitt. Why not? What was your first job? Uh, I worked at a gas station. What is your greatest accomplishment? Um, God, I guess oh, writing this book right now. This is my greatest accomplishment is still being alive. What's your big, biggest fear? Um, still being alive. What is the one thing you need to have in the fridge at all times? I gotta have, uh, I love cold apples. I like cold apples yeah. too. I hate warm fruit. I hate warm fruit. Who is the most interesting person you've met recently? Um, uh, jeez. Oh, I already failed this whole thing. Um, I don't, oh God. I'm gonna say Matthew. I'm gonna say you, Matthew. Well, you met, you met up. I met up, but I can't think of it. I, I got a block in this. All right, we'll come back. All right. How do you take your coffee? I like a lot of cream. I like powdered, cheap, poor white, trash, powdered cream. <laughs> What's your middle name? Perry, after my uncle. What is your biggest pet peeve? People being mean to people for no reason. What's your favorite hobby? Mm. I guess golf I love, writing I love, I love reading, and I love listening to podcasts. What is your guilty pleasure? A giant bowl of ice cream with cookies and chocolate and butterscotch and nuts. Mm. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, I like to think I could sing. I haven't worked at it, but I'd like to think I could become a singer. You don't oh. know if it's an actual talent. I, I don't want to have to prove it here. <laughs> what color is your toothbrush? Uh, it's black. Wow. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I used to be a night. I'm a. You know, I used to be a night owl for sure, but now I'm a mid morning person. <laughs> <laughs> what is your worst habit? Um. Procrastination. I procrastinate about things I'm going to do. What was the last gift you gave? Uh, well, this book. I gave. Uh, I went on Amazon the other night and I bought uh, people a bunch of books because okay. I wanted them to get them because I couldn't get them to them in time. That's very sweet. Yeah. Uh, what What is the last album you bought? A music album. Oh, God. The last album. Ziggy Stardust, probably. That's just no shame there. No, I love that. What is your favorite thing to cook? I love to get uh, I love to get ground turkey, and I like to cook the turkey, put onions in, put mushrooms in, put broccoli in, put like ten vegetables in, and then cook them all together, and then put a splash of Worcestershire sauce in. Where does that it's come from? It's a stir from this diet I was on that I was so successful at. I just had protein and vegetables, so I had to make it somehow taste good. Oh, and I like to squeeze a lime or a lemon on it, too. That's good. It's really delicious, and it almost tastes like it's bad for you. <laughs> what cause is dear to your heart? Uh, it's called um, Make Your Date, and um, it's uh, for the. It's in Detroit. We do it every year, and um, it's for you know they had the highest uh, mortality rate for babies, and so this is an organization that helps those young girls and women and older women, um, all different stages get to their dates because it's about those dates with the doctor. It's about getting to the doctor. And we, we really, we've served uh, 50, I haven't, but <laughs> I've helped, I do the entertainment to help people come to help donate. 5,500 women, I think. That's great. And, and All right. Name anything on your bucket list. So I guess thing, something you haven't done yet that you want to. Um... I guess, you know, I'd like to, um, I'd like to somehow figure out how I could get, learn something or get good enough something to be in the Olympics. 
I think it is since I've been 20 years old. I think I could probably do that. <laughs> now I'm down to curling and luge. But I always think, I could be on a luge. Why <laughs> stick you, I stick you on the top? Just put me on a luge. And somebody could lay on top of me if they want to. I wouldn't care. <laughs> and we'd just go down the luge. And that's what I always think. Every time I watch the Olympics, I'm so egotistical. I think to myself, I could do something like this. I definitely could do that little brush thing. Yep. I'm pretty good. All right, last one. Yeah. And then we'll come back. Okay. We have we missed one. Where do you want to go that you've never been? I would like to go to China. I'd like to see it. I, I would. I really though I have a soft spot. I'd like to go to I'd like to go to Turkey, Romania and Poland because I have a 300,000 yes. Facebook I love this. fans cuz from Life with Louie, it aired in those countries. And they love Life with Louie there, and they ask me to come all the time. And uh, so I'd really like to go there because I really, uh, I love that, that cartoon touch them. I, uh, I was one of the sweetest things learning for this book. There's, I think there's a story in here where somebody took it as like a college, um, like their, their thesis they wrote about. It was about. a thesis of Life with Louie. <laughs> that was great. All right, last one. Who is the most interesting person you've met? Or you can say recently okay. or... All right. The in most interesting person I met... We can talk about you. One of the, your regrets in this book, uh, you know, something I was thinking about, is when is you met Reagan, right? Yeah. I guess, you know, I, I always think I know how to save the world. So I guess, you know, in that I... I, I guess the most, I have to tell you that I met, I met, I've met so many interesting people that I don't know their name that have been at my shows or been there. And, um, you know, I, I, I admire people who've been through a lot yeah. and still remain strong, you know. Um, I guess the Vietnam vets I met up at the, at the, at the, uh, at the, um, Veterans Center oh, in VA. Las Vegas and VA because they had stories and they had you know and I really felt for it okay. Is there maybe we only have about five more minutes. Oh, is that is there, it? Oh, is there something you want to say to your mom? I wish you were here Wouldn't that be good if we got so good at technology that we could <laughs> somehow bring people you know, find that place where the souls are resting or, or having fun, and we could bring them back for five minutes. Or they could go into our brain and manifest what we're thinking and bring those people to life. I always think that, I always, I still believe it, that those souls are rushing around and they're around us. I think they're, I'm always a sucker for any show that has a parallel universe. I go, oh. Where they're just right up here. They're like, if we could see right there, they'd be there.